narrow. How does this work? It's whenever you're on a baseball field, for example, uh -huh. you've got to see everything wide. When something happens very quickly, you're going to very to narrow. You're processing that, knowing what to do, uh, and this is what's processing that part of the brain. It's very relatable to that. So this is just one test out of 50 that we'll do. We'll oh, train okay. every region of the brain with all of our everything we're getting ready to do. Right. Uh, we're going to be we're the only program in the country that's actually going to be able to uh, do the exact player development program, and we're actually endorsed by the creator of the program. Really? Uh, he's endorsing our facility to be able to do this program because we're not only going to test it, we're going to train it. What a great program! So if we if we train it. Um, then the kids will get better and we'll retest it. The bigger facilities in the country that have this kind of technology are only going to be able to test it. They may train a little bit, but we're doing this for all of our kids. We're going to bring kids from the outside. Not only baseball, we're going to do all sports with it. That's so great. Uh, and we can hone it into specific sports because what you're seeing is very, this is athletic, it's all processing, but what you're going to be able to see as we go is we've got very specific things that we're going to do. We've got a uh, mini jugs gun, so all this recognition and processing, now we're going to teach them to hit a, a miniature baseball at 120 miles an hour with a stick about that dynamic. Wow. And their brain, brain's going to be able to process that, so they're going to be able to do this. How do we know it works? We've seen it work. 162 different research papers, all by different universities, validating this whole method, and then putting research to work and experience. We've seen kids that went from a 0-13 team uh, in New York, where he created this program, and went, and they've never been beat since. All that's changed is the fact that they're doing this. The kids tell us that they're recognizing a ball while it's still in a pitcher's hand, and it is the ball's coming across very slowly. They can see the spin on the ball, and they they can react to it. But they can also, if it's not in where they want, it's also impulse suppression. So they'll suppress that need to go for a strike and swing at a bad pitch, and it all suppresses that. Same thing on a football field. Instead of a lineman reaching to grab somebody because he's trying to hold, you know, get there to hold him, now he can suppress that and be able to get in front of him quicker. He can process what he's got to do quicker. Better yet, this goes on to the into the classroom. We have uh, kids that are actually making good grades that were B students, now A students. C students, now B A students. Um, really the, the ability to suppress those kind of impulses, now their behavior gets better. Now we're making better citizens, we're making better students. Um, the parents are saying that they're not discipline problems at home because now they're able to focus. So you get um, these, the kids who are ADHD or ADD, maybe this is something that's going to help them be able to focus a lot more, but they don't have to take so many medications, you know. Possibly, possibly not, I don't know. But we do know that it helps on the field and it helps in the classroom. So we want to put all that together. And ultimately what we want to do is, is make better better kids, better citizens. You know, if they're better citizens, then this whole place is going to be better. So that's kind of what the premise of what we see. We're giving you a snapshot right now. But we have a whole program. This whole place is going to be set up. So we're going to have these kids going through all these different stations with trained professionals.